Hello everyone, Jennifer Kloga, DIY Online Solutions. Listen, I want to show you how to uninstall a plugin. Just a little bit of reassurance because some people are really scared installing something and not being able to remove this. Under a minute, you will be able to uninstall a plugin you don't like. So do not be afraid of testing things out and see what you like and what you don't like. And what you would do is you want to log into the back end of your dashboard. This would be for a self-hosted blog site. All right. So this happens to be the back end of DIY Online Solutions. And again, we have custom, uh, custom themes here. So it might look a little different than what you have. And on the left-hand side here, you see posts, you see links, pages, and all that. Halfway down where you install the plugins, you will go back into it again. Once you log into the plugin section, let's just say for purposes, let's go and uninstall DIY Facebook like button. You want to number one, deactivate. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back and look for DIY Facebook like again. By the way, at this stage, if you just want to keep the plugin and you want to try it out, without uninstalling it, you can just leave it the way it is. And later, if you decide you want to activate it again, you just press the activate button. But right now we want to go and delete. So I'm going to press delete. And it's going to ask you, do you really want to delete these files? I'm going to say yes. And that's it. It has been uninstalled. So please, again, do not be afraid of playing around with it to see what's happening. Um, you just want to make sure there's no viruses going on. That's about it.